Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a repeat on lifecycle method and also we will see how flow lifecycle operator works. So first we will uh, demonstrate both of this concept in our Android studio and then we will come back to this slide for concluding our learning. Okay friends, so I'm inside my Android studio where I have created one empty project. Along with that, I have added one view model, which is test view model. In this example, first we are going to create a normal flow and we will see what was the problem with the normal flow. And in the second step, we will see how we can fix that problem. So first I will create one normal flow, which is normal cold flow. So for that, first I will declare one variable, say where my flow, and this will return a flow, which is coming from a coroutine and then of type integer. Now. I will declare one flow builder inside this. I will emit the value. So for that, I'm adding one uh, for loop, say one to hundred and we will traverse for all this hundred value. We will emit the value every two seconds. So I'm adding a delay of two seconds. Okay. So this is our normal flow, normal cold flow. And this part of code will act as a producer. And as this is cold flow, we have to collect this flow from the consumer block. So I'm going inside the main activity and I will collect that flow before collecting. As this has been mentioned inside the test view model, we have to create the instance of test view model. So for that, I'm creating one instance of test view model. So private well test view model by view models and I will declare test view model. So I have created the instance of test view model. Okay. Now let's collect that flow. So test view model dot my flow dot collect. As we know, collect is a suspend function. Okay. So you can see here that this is a suspend function. So this will need a coroutine scope for the execution. So we can get the coroutine scope from lifecycle scope. So I will add lifecycle scope dot launch. Let's move this code inside of a lifecycle scope dot launch. So control X and then control V. Now I will add one log log dot D imitate value. And now I will add dot to a string. Perfect. Let's run this code. Meanwhile, for the quick revision, this part of code is acting like a consumer and as this is cold flow. We need collect terminal operator, or we can also use launch in. It depends. So here we have we are using dot collect terminal operator to collect the flow. So uh, when I go inside of a locket, the value is getting emitted 14, 15, 16. So this value is getting emitted every two seconds. So this is the application which has been launched. Now what I am doing, I am sending this application to the background. Okay. So now application is in background, but what we can see in the log that it is still emitting the value, despite the fact that application is in background still, it is emitting the value, which is not right because we are losing the resource. We are unnecessary emitting the value. So what are the consequences with this? So we can see that flow producer continues to run when the app is in background and also Second point is that activity will receive the emission and it will try to uh, render the UI when it is in the background. So that may also result in the crash to deal with this situation, to fix this problem, repeat on lifecycle event comes into the picture. So what I will do, I will go inside my main activity and here I will call lifecycle dot repeat on lifecycle. And then we have to pass the state. So what will be the state? Lifecycle dot state dot started. And we will move all of this code inside this block. Now let's run the code to see the behavior post adding repeat on lifecycle. So inside the locket, I can see value is getting emitted one, two, three. When I move my application to background, I can see emission has been stopped. Okay. And again, if I will bring the application to foreground, I can see emission is started again. One, two, three. 
okay so with that i can say this repeat on life cycle is life cycle aware when we push our application to background the flow collection stops and when we again bring it in foreground flow collection get started also this repeat on life cycle is coming from the library life cycle runtime ktx you have to add this library for using repeat on life cycle okay now we will explore the second topic of this video which is life cycle operator so first we will see on start life cycle operator so i will add on start and then i will add one log method and uh, let's run the code to see the behavior so basically on start is something which get called before the collection of flow so this will be the first statement which will get triggered inside the locket we can see this is the first element which is getting called okay so on start flow life cycle operator will get executed first and then flow collection will get started so we can see clearly here before on start is getting called and then the number is getting emitted now if we want to emit the value inside on start we can do that as well so for example if I want to emit value say 101 let's run this program so after running we can see that 101 is getting emitted first and then before on start is getting triggered which is this on start section and then actual emission of this flow is getting started as we can see in the log one two three four and so on now we can uh, see the second flow lifecycle operator which is on completion so inside on completion we can uh, the flow will come once the flow collection is completed so let's change this to five and then we can uh, run the program so once all the value will get emitted from one to five then we can see uh, this method log completion on completion so one two three four five is getting emitted and then on completion so we can see first on start is getting executed which is this one 101 and before on start and then all five value is getting emitted from here every two second and once complete uh, emission is completed once complete emission is done then it is calling on completion method which is emitted value on completion which is highlighted in the log now there may be a case that while execution it may throw some kind of exception the code is not getting the flow emission is not getting completed normally it is giving some kind of exception say i'm throwing exception and now this exception will come inside the on completion block so inside this throwable method say i'm writing here throwable so this throwable in case of success this throwable will be null so if i will write throwable equal to equal to null it means that it is successful else it will give an exception so i will copy paste this log on completion with exception so here we can see that uh, we are throwing an exception before emission so when there will be any exception it means that flow is getting completed abnormally some exception is getting occurred in this highlighted section of the code then it will come inside the on completion and inside on completion throwable will be not null means there is some kind of exception so this line of code will get executed so the, if this throwable is null it means that the execution is completed successfully without any exception if this throwable is having any value inside it it means that if it is not null then this section of code will get uh, executed which states that some kind of exception has been occurred during the execution of this code while uh, emitting the value of the flow so let's run this program to see the behavior so 101 before on start on completion with exception so as we can see that we are throwing the exception on the first line it is giving on completion with exception and if we will comment this code then we will see let's delete this one and then run this code so now this section of code will get executed so 101 before on start this is the first call on start is getting called and then all the value is getting emitted from here so five value will get emitted one to five and then on completion this is getting executed as throwable is equal to null because this is successful case 
ओके नाउ देर आर फ्यू मोर लाइफ साइकिल ऑपरेटर लाइक डॉट कैच इज देअर विच वी कैन एड एंड वी विल कॉपी पेस्ट दिस वन कैच एक्सेप्शन एंड आई विल अनकमेंट दिस लाइन लेट्स रन दिस कोड इन साइड द लॉकेट ऑन स्टार्ट सेक्शन इज गेटिंग कॉल्ड फर्स्ट एंड in this while uh, before emitting the first value there is some exception which has been occurred so it will come inside on completion section and here it will see that throwable is not equal to null so it will print this line which is on completion with exception and at the end it will print emitted value catch exception so the we can also catch the exception inside this catch operator so here we can print that value catch exception so these are the few uh, flow life cycle operator which we use frequently also if we consider this on completion block so whatever thing is written on top of on completion for example this on start will act as a upstream and the catch operator will act as a downstream in the similar way if i will consider this catch block this on completion and on start will act as a upstream and if i will add one more block say on start then this on start will act as a downstream for this catch operator okay so now i hope you are clear that what is upstream and downstream so for all the operators the upstream and downstream will vary so for example on com for on completion block the upstream is on start and downstream is catch and this on start okay and if i will consider this catch operator then for this catch operator upstream will be on start this on start and then on completion and the downstream will be this on start so with that i hope you understood both the concept of repeat on life cycle and flow life cycle operator uh, during this video we saw uh, how repeat on life cycle play very important role while collecting the flow from the ui and also we saw the real time example of on start on completion and catch life cycle operator and also we have seen how upstream flow and downstream flow may vary depending upon the life cycle operator so uh, with that thank you so much for watching my video stay tuned for my next video where we will see the hot flows and also we will learn about state flow and shared flow thank you so much for watching